All right, today we are doing a product review for the Clip and Go Agility Weave Guides. I'm so excited to try these. I've always wanted to try them. I saw um, somebody on Instagram, um, their account is Tough and Tiny, and they also do agility with long hair chihuahuas. And I noticed when they do weaves, they have clear weave guides, which I thought was so cool. And so I had to search them out on the internet and I found them from Clip and Go Agility. And we're gonna try these out today. So just for starters, I only bought the set of four weave guides that will cover um, six weave poles. And then it looks pretty simple. Come with the screws. I just have to break these pieces off and attach them to each side of the guide. And then they should just attach right onto the poles. So I bought these just to see if they will help make our weaves a little more consistent. Lily basically already knows how to weave. She weaves pretty good all the time. Every now and then she pops out um, and I want to practice like doing throttles with her to weaves, which is harder. And I'm hoping this will help guide her and maybe make some muscle memory. And then Bella, she's got the, the general idea for weaves, but sometimes she goes too fast and then she ends up popping out or she skips weaves. So I'm thinking this might help build some muscle memory. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna start screwing these on. So you're gonna want one of each. This one is what the screw will set into. So, Get this going. Quick note, you're gonna want to cut this as flush as possible. Otherwise there's a gap and it doesn't screw on as good as it could. So I have a bunch of these that I need to trim down a little bit more. Here they are, so exciting. So I started them off in the beginning kind of low and then they're gonna get higher and higher to kind of like phase them out. At least that's my plan for right now. Lily, come here. We gotta try this. Yeah. Wow. Let's see what she thinks. Wee, wee. <laughs> Try again. Come here. Come here. Go weave, weave, weave. That's not how it goes. Weave, weave, weave. Well, your weaves are broken. Go weave. Come here. Go weave. No, no, no. Break it. So I just moved them a little higher, which I feel like is defeating the purpose, but let's try it again. Hey, Will, come here. Come here. Ready? I really don't know if that's helping her or not. Let's try. Hold.
Okay, so that was Lily's turn. I'm not really sure that this is helpful for her. Um, maybe she just needs to get used to it. I don't know. Or maybe we just won't mess with these with Lily Owl. Uh, I'm more interested in Bella because she does have a tendency to pop out. So let's try Bella. Wee, wee, wee. Okay, I'll try down here. Over here. No, no, no. Right here. Come on. Wee, wee, wee. Uh, Bella, come on. Wee, wee, wee. Good girl. Yes. That was fun. So I just had to lower him a little bit. Alright. Weave, weave, weave. Oh, that's not it. Try again. Oh no. Oh no. Come here. Weave, weave. Okay, so right now I'm thinking I'm really glad I didn't buy a set for 12 poles because at the moment, this does not look like it's going to work. I don't know, do have any of you trained with wave pole guides before? Like, is this normal for them to want to jump over them or crawl under them? Because um, I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> so I guess we can try it like a few more days. Um, otherwise, uh, I don't... I don't know what we're going to do. Don't look like we're really going to use them that much at the moment, but I have to try it a few more days and just see, see how it goes. Bella's saying, what the heck did you just set up on the weaves? What is going on here? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, guys, if, if you guys have any experience with these, please, uh, drop a comment below because right now I'm not really sure what to do with these. So, yeah. I guess that's it for today. We tried. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.